my favorite experiences from the learning group is when people say, wow, I never even thought of standing on that platform and looking at that problem from that angle because it just opens up so many new perspectives in terms of how to go about solving the problem. If I need a resource or connection or advice, um, I can email any one of them and I'll get an answer right away. So that's kind of, that's a good thing. And if they want, they can email me. And who do you need? What do you need? Let me know and it's, it's done for you, so. These are people who are working in organizations serving really challenging populations. I mean, they're working with homeless families and individuals. They're working with um, families who are dealing with domestic violence issues. I mean, they're really challenging issues, and it's really hard work. Um, and to have a peer or a professional um, connection with someone that gets more personal because you know them and you can turn to them, I mean, that's what you get from this network. You know, when you're a psychologist, you're not necessarily trained in how to help people that, are, you know, slept in a ravine for the last 30 days or slept in a recreational vehicle or in, or in a stranger's garage. Um, I, I have a background in behavioral health and drug treatment. So when I came into this field uh, four or five years ago, um, it, was a, it was a whole new set of challenges. So to be part of a peer group of people whose expertise concerns serving the most disenfranchised um, and indigent populations in our community is helpful. The problem solving and um, um, lead, leadership when it comes out and how to deal with boards. Mm -hmm. And I think that's some of actually also what we've gotten here, at least it seems like at times, yeah. sort of validation, breaks isolation, I'm not crazy because your board does that too. Right. Um, I remember one meeting we talked a lot about evaluation and how we do evaluation for our programs and ideas about how we could do it better and um, I was able to you know, go back to the office and share with some of my staff various forms that other organizations are using and ideas about how we might be able to do evaluation better. So I feel like I always walk away with something that I can take back. I've actually formed a similar, a somewhat similar group at my agency for case managers. So we have uh, stolen the name and so it's a case management learning community within my agency. I feel that I've learned to be a better leader, um, listener, um, taking it more of initiative. I think what's been nice about this group is that we're all program directors. So I think in our organizations we are seen as maybe like the second second level or sort of um, second in command. Um, so kind of at that level. And there aren't a lot of opportunities for, uh, for us as program directors to really uh, get together um, and have that leadership development that um, I think a lot of us are are desiring and wanting. So I think what happens in this field, similar to other fields, is kind of like the teacher who's really good at teaching and becomes a principal. And then, I, you know, I'm the therapist who becomes the director. And while I have skills that transfer, there are other skills that I need to develop. it's really important that there is an outside facilitator to the group because I think that all of us in that room are so busy we wouldn't take the time to do this for ourselves and so to have someone one of the I think the most beneficial things is that we've had someone who really can work the group through the process who reframes what we're saying and helps us keep our focus has really helped us we don't end up on a tangent that's not focused on what we're trying to accomplish so Facilitators are important. <laughs> All these different ideas were very helpful to me, and I think it, it, it's also 
good to keep nurturing our relationships as we move along because we're all in the same business. We're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> we're all rowing as fast as we can. Um, <laughs> and I think that that solidarity to some degree was, um, it helps. You know, you're not alone. Because sometimes it's hard to find other EDs to talk to, um, mm. commiserate with, or just to get, you know, some advice from. I think um, longevity is important because it does take a long time to bond in. So if we have maybe fewer meetings farther apart but over a longer period of time, it allows folks to um, participate and build those relationships. away from everything and everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's a great group. <laughs> we have fun. I leave here re-energized. Right. It's a retreat. I call it the retreat. Uh, I go back to my job feeling rededicated and recommitted. We really hope that the learning community and the knowledge that the participants bring back will really help make the organizations much stronger and the nonprofit sector and the field that they represent stronger as a result. Um, the service to their clients will be improved, the effectiveness of how they run their organizations will be improved because they have this opportunity for this learning exchange. I think this is a great opportunity for any um, foundation to be involved in this and, and be so invested in the people uh, that they're funding to do something like this, to bring people together and have an opportunity to learn together. So I want to say thank you to them.